everyone, my name is Selva. Welcome to Climbing Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Oasis Springs and today we are doing the park lot of Oasis Springs and we're building a park of course. And this is actually made for my save file so um, if you missed it, I am going to share my upcoming save file which is the Oasis Springs save file. I am slowly rebuilding all of the lots in every single world um, one by one and very slowly but surely so i've done new crest i've done moonwood bill and this is going to be my third one so um it's actually the second to last build for my oasis spring save file which is i seriously i can't believe it because what oasis spring is very big not as big as winnenberg of course but it's still big and i feel like it I don't know, I spent more time finishing this whole save file than the uh, new crest one. I'm not going to compare this with Moonwood Mill of course because Moonwood Mill only have like, I don't know, 5 lots, maybe 6, I'm not sure but it's not as many as this. So I'm going to compare this with new crest and I think new crest has almost the same lot number as this not really sure though but it's not that small and um, this build took me at least five hours to be done um, that's kind of embarrassing because normally I only spent like three hours to finish a build but for this one um, I bulldozed so many times like at least four or five times I still have some of the like bulldoze version on my library i'm not going to share it because it's so ugly and two um it's not done at all so i don't like it at all but um i actually was planned this uh as a community space you know the the lot like community lot space from um eco lifestyle but when I tried to building it and you have to, you know, like um, build every single sub lot types if that makes sense. So within the community space, you need to build the like community market, community like art space or something and basically like four different sub lot types. And when I finish with one lot type and I change to the other one, it got reset the whole build was gone even when i get back to the first subplot type um uh, hope you understand what i mean but it was so stressful um uh, and i did that three different times so i decided to give up not really sure if it's just my game or just me that don't understand how it work but uh i won't be doing any community space in near future um, at least until i figure it out how it works um but yeah that's just a little bit of the story um on this build we have like one two three four five six seven sections i will call that because um it's a 50 by 50 lot and i try to put as many skill building items as well as activities items as possible um, in one lot because park should be fun should be um, covered all age groups needs so um, I try to make it as I don't know how to call this but as universal as possible not sure if it's the correct term but you know what I mean and um, actually I inspired by a floor plan image that I found on Pinterest. I don't know if I can call that as a floor plan picture because it's not like a floor plan floor plan, you know, not like a building floor plan, but it's more like a landscape floor plan if that makes any sense. And um, on this build, we have the kids playground, the sand pit area with the kids um, jungle gym and kid stuff basically um, we have the chess area we have the toilet of course it's a mandatory item and we have the lounge area we have the um, 
kids drawing area for the kids we have the observation tag for you know like your space um, enthusiasm we have the information center which is not mandatory but I think it's nice to have that we have the picnic area we have the pond we have the greenhouse and um, with the um, information center it would be the most crowded area on this lot because one I did put like a like an outdoor speaker above the window on the information center so your sims will be dancing uh, in front of that which is so very crowded don't understand why they did that i'm not sure how it works how it's supposed to work with uh, like audio and things like that in the sims but uh, it's very crowded just a little heads up on that and also i did put i think this is my mistake but i did put like a laptop inside of the information center because within the information center it is very normal to have this thing like a PC or a laptop something like that to you know like check out the data and everything um, but yeah just a little heads up on that because it will make your sims gather in one section of the lot uh, if you don't feel very comfortable with that simply delete one of those maybe the laptop or the audio speaker thing I highly suggest the audio because uh, it's so crowded like you have no idea how crowded it was I didn't like take any screenshots nor like um, do the recording for that so I am very sorry um, because I can't show you proof of how crowded it is but yeah and this build took me quite long to finish and not just for the like building portion but also the play testing portion and the um, muraling portion because uh, we'll have I don't know five or six maybe um, ground murals from city living and I kind of regret doing that because uh, my sim spent three sims days like three full sims days um, to painting all of the murals and I don't know why but I never uh, remember how long it took to paint a mural especially if your sims is the only sim who paint the mural uh, if you paint with I don't know maybe like one or two more sims it would be much faster and yes of course I could pick one from the gallery but I don't know I feel like they're not suitable for this uh, lot the style that I found at least it's not suitable so um, so yeah I basically just paint them um, and torturing my sims to paint them so um, that's why it took me so long to finish the whole build and um, when I play testing this build, I decided to add some more items in several different spots. So maybe the, uh, what is that called? The information center will have several more like decoration pieces here and there. Um, but that's not very like, that's not changing the whole build that much. So I hope you're okay with that. And we have the green house over here, which is so pretty, the lighting on this build or on this greenhouse is so very pretty i love it so much especially in the evening and the afternoon it's so i don't know like relaxing and peaceful and speaking of the save file um, after i am done with this world i'm going to do more worlds next um i'm thinking of willow creek and magnolia promenade hopefully i can do them at once and it will be a kind of like a base game and not base game only save file so the magnolia promenade won't be a base game only save file but i'm hoping the willow creek could be a base game only house or not a house but base game only save file um finger crossed on that but yeah i just want to have a base game only save file but um i'm not sure if i have mentioned this but this save file, this Oasis Spring save file is about 70% done. I still need to do the cast or like creating the sims because 
one I have no experience in creating the sims I mean I of course I've tried creating some sims but they're not very creative in a way that they're very similar one another and I want my save file to be very diverse and kind of like um, inclusive so I will need quite a long time to create those sims those townies so um, Hopefully I can release the save file before end of November, um, but yeah, just a little update on that. It might not be like a huge task for you, it might be easy for you to create sims, but I'd rather build in a 50 by 50 than creating sims because yeah, I'm just not very creative when it comes to creating sims. Um, so that's why I will need a bit more time to share the save file, but um, we are basically finishing up the build i think with some terrain paints and um landscaping and if you heard that i'm sorry that's just my phone i forgot to put it on silent but um i use a lot of packs here i didn't really limit the packs usage because i want to be as creative as possible especially because this is not a base game only or packs restricted save file so um for the landscaping only i use base game strangerville and my wedding stories and that's it for the landscaping but the whole build um yeah i just went crazy with the packs but not star wars and luxury party i don't use those two packs especially luxury party i just don't like it very much um but yeah we're basically finishing up the build i think or not I'm not sure oh my god it's so hard to tell which one will come after this because this is an outdoor lot and normally I will do like outdoor or like architecture um, a little bit of landscaping layout or floor plan and interior and we'll be moving on to the outdoor part again and we're done but on this I can't tell but yeah I'm pretty sure we're finishing up here so if you'd like to download this build this is already available on the gallery my ID is alfadiera or you can find it under the hashtag PlymySims you can also click the download link on the description box below that will bring you to my coffee blog post it'll have two different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the trade files link from SilvaShare so yeah I think that's it I really hope you find this video inspiring and the build useful to your game and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video so yeah I think that's it I'm going to go now thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me I hope you have the very best day and I'll see you soon bye